Throughout my entire life, interest rates were one of the most important factors when it came to borrowing. And in a way it still is, but my perspectives have definitely shifted. And I want to enlighten you to that because once you start looking at things slightly differently yourself, you may end up finding that you too are concerning yourself less and less over time with the actual interest rates themselves, which allow many, many more opportunities to, to present themselves along with additional tools that you maybe would have been unattracted to initially. So interest rates are only one half of the financial equation. What I find most borrowers are interested in is what is the interest rate? And we saw this from the very moment that we started in the industry back in 2000, when we were licensed to provide wholesale residential mortgage loans. We would see that over the course of years, people would just keep coming back time and time again to refinance because the rates were continuing to come down. So the interest rates would drop a quarter percent or a half percent or an entire percent. And you would find borrowers that had only been in their loans for 24 months, 36 months saying, I wanna refinance. We've been conditioned to think about this. The banks are constantly pumping us for refinancing and to ask the question, what's the rate? You should care less about the actual interest rates and more about the total interest costs. The worst case scenario as a borrower is to pay high interest loans off over long periods of time. Because the other half of this equation, when determining the overall cost of borrowing, in addition to the actual APR itself, which stands for annual percentage rate, is the length of time that it takes to pay the loan back, the term. So we're talking about both rate and term to determine exactly how expensive it will be to borrow that specific loan. Most people pay far less attention to the term than necessary, which is why many people look at various resources like hard money unfavorably. And that automatically removes that from their idea of a an opportunity. So they miss out on it. Hard money happens to be one of the best ways of getting yourself into the real estate investing game that I've ever seen. And I wanna share a personal story with you that took place five or six years ago. Because of our relationship with coaching members, from time to time, we discover opportunities for lending that a, a coaching member may want to take advantage of. And in this case, it, it was to us directly as a business. We put it out there, a cattle call that we were looking for a $50,000 unsecured um, capital account. And it was going to come in the form of a, a, an installment loan. The installment loan was to be repaid over a period of five years, and it came at a 15% interest rate. Now, most people would shrug off a 15% interest rate as an opportunity, whereas we looked at it as a terrific way of building and growing the business. We had a, a way of investing that money where we knew it would increase sales by tens of thousands of dollars per year. In exchange, that 15% would end up costing us had we not paid any principal back, a total of $7,500 each year. Now, knowing our repayment system, it was a bit of a surprise that Joe ended up being shocked that we repaid this loan in just 18 months. So over that 18 month period, because the balance was perpetually declining through the process of lump sum payments and paycheck parking, we ended up paying substantially less than that $7,500 per year average over that 18 month period. And when it was all said and done, Joe had been completely repaid and we were looking at each other and he kind of shrugged and said, you know, I kind of expected more interest out of this. Certainly he wasn't surprised, I have to say, that we paid it off early, but I think he was a bit surprised at how little interest he was able to earn on that money because of how quickly we repaid. So. What we've learned as borrowers is that by perpetually taking capital where we know we can reinvest under speculated results that will far exceed the cost of the money that we're borrowing, we can take high interest loans and repay them very, very quickly and only ultimately end up paying back extremely low dollar sums in interest. So there are many different benefits to considering paying higher interest rates, but paying them off over very, very brief periods. So make sure you check out our Real Estate Investing 101 training to understand a little bit more clearly why high interest rate loans paid off very quickly can serve you when you're developing your wealth as well. Hope these types of videos help. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, make it a great day today and take care. So in the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can pay off your entire mortgage free and clear in under six years.